Hi, I'm Jeff Gluck from IBM Communications, and we're here with Pat Toole, IBM's Chief Information Officer. And the subject today is the brand new CIO study called The Voice of the CIO, the largest study of its type ever conducted. Um, dozens and dozens of countries, all kinds of industries, and all kinds of very interesting information. Uh, so let's start right there, Pat. What do you find most interesting about the study? Well, there was three things, Jeff. Uh, first was really the increase in the importance of business transformation in the office of the CIO. Uh, CIOs today are spending a much more balanced amount of time on business transformation and information technology. Second, I would say, is really the rise in some of the emerging technologies in terms of where future investment is going, such as cloud computing, and probably most important is business analytics. That was fascinating. And third uh, was essentially where do CIOs spend their time? Uh, for me, uh, there was a lot of insight in terms of CIOs for lower growth companies tended to spend a lot more time on core information technology, whereas the CIOs of faster growing companies really spent much more of their time on enabling the corporate vision. The two top IT issues were business analytics or, or business intelligence and virtualization and those are two big issues for you and for IBM, correct? They are, they are. And business analytics uh, made a lot of sense to me because as I've talked to clients, especially over the last few years, most clients will say they have more than enough data they need to make decisions but they don't have the knowledge. And so in order to be able to get the right knowledge to the right people at the right time, it takes these advanced tools. And for a company like IBM, it really takes a big focus on process. And that's what we're really doing today. We're re-engineering our processes, trying to be a process-led company as we implement our new applications and information technology infrastructure. Any insights from the study that are going to help you in your new role as, as IBM CIO? Well, I really like the format of the study and how they've centered it around some basic questions like how can we improve the return on investment from information technology? Uh, what can we do to really drive value? Uh, and, and of course, some of the traditional things of how do we make IT more relevant? And uh, so I'm going to go through in a very thoughtful manner with my team and answer those questions for ourselves. But also on a personal level, I really liked how they took each person they interviewed uh, through a questionnaire to figure out where do you spend your time. And so as I looked through that, uh, it was fascinating to me to see, as I said, where they spend their time. And it's a great place for me to launch from as I look at my own calendar and determine where myself and my team will spend our time. Pat, how do we make innovation real? And the CIO needs to be a visionary and needs to be a cost cutter all at the same time. It, it seems like it's a conflict, but, it, but I guess it really isn't. I certainly believe that that should be an easy question for our company because it's one of our core values, uh, innovation that matters for our company and the world. And so if we stick to our values and we align everything we do to the IBM value system, I think we'll be just fine. How do you raise the return on investment for IT? I mean, is, is this an important thing now? Because we heard this from a lot of CIOs that uh, they have to worry about ROI, especially now, a lot more than they used to. It's essential, and for IBM, I look at it in two categories. We have to really align our efforts around growing revenue. I know in our case that will come uh, by taking share from our competitors. We have to work very closely with our groups and brand organizations to figure out how can IT help them take share. And the second, as I mentioned, is to really accelerate the progress we've made in becoming a truly globally integrated enterprise. Uh, tell me about the relationships you need to have with other members of the senior management team in order to make all this happen. I mean, one thing we heard from the CIOs is, especially in companies that are, that are doing well, um, they're, they're right in there with, with the senior leadership team and they've got a seat at the table. Well, that's essential for us, especially now that we've consolidated all the information technology functions from the various brand organizations into a central CIO office. So I have to be very tight with the senior leadership team to make sure that we are really fulfilling their vision of what the company needs to get done. Any other observations before we go? Well, I'm extremely excited to uh, be part of the CIO's office and to help lead this transformation in IBM. We certainly have a lot of exciting initiatives underway, and uh, I'm extremely optimistic about our future. Pat Toole, IBM CIO. I'm Jeff Gluck, and thank you very much for watching.